Not sure when this vlog will go up. Today's Monday. It might go up today. It depends. Depends on if I can put anything good in it. Interesting stuff, man. Oh, what am I doing? Isn't she sexy? <sighs> Beautiful. It's one of my favorite guns I ever built. Anyway, cooked up some chicken I marinated, baked it, I was soaking a paper towel, get all the stuff up. Just cooked Billy and I breakfast, eggs, toast, and maple sausage. We gotta go get salt. Mother Nature is bipolar again, and apparently she decided that she'd like to come back. Go for another round, why not? Why not? I'm not complaining. I mean, I am and I'm not. I really want summer. And we've had those like six, couple 60 degree days. It's been just the, it's been the absolute slowest winter I've ever had since I've been in business. It's, it's just ridiculous. And it's not so much about the money as it is boredom. Boredom, I'm bored, I'm bored. I'm bored. So you can only work on so much equipment, get everything done. I mean, just come on, man, come on. Good news is I have like a week and a half left of these. And I'm done, and then I can finally cap this tooth so I don't look like a chipmunk. You know what I mean? You get it, right? You understand? Okay, so. And then I can cap this tooth through laser whitening. Whew. Done, baby, gotta wear them for the rest of my life, but only at night. Then I have to take them out every time I wanna eat. Brush my teeth every time I want to eat before I can put them back in. Like brushing teeth, like I eat like six times a day. No shit. Full size meals. But I need iced coffee to go. Anyway, so um calling for two to four tonight. I don't know if we'll actually get it. But Friday? What did Spencer just send me? Good old Spence. What'd you send me, Spence? Where's this model that he sent me? Um, you probably can't see it, but I'll tell you what it says. I will, I will. Um, Friday into Saturday, we are expected to have anywhere from 14 to 17 inches of snow. And guess what? I'll tell you what. I have to cover my plow route. Billy will cover his. Then I have two extra commercials and a handful of residentials I got to cover for somebody else because they will be on vacation. I would tell you who it is in this video, but it's kind of a surprise thing and other people might watch this, so I can't tell you. I can't say it. Cat, cat bag out. Whew. See you later. Where'd you go? That kind of thing. All right. Iced coffee for me and Billy. And Billy! Yeah. You want an iced coffee to go? All right, nice coffee for me then. Not for Billy. I need to go mux, to go mux, to go cup. God bless Veronica when she was in town. A lot of sollies to go cups. I know I've lived somewhere too. I do. She gave me lids and I'm pretty sure she bought me a box of straws. How about that? They're actually sitting right next to you guys. Why don't you just hand me one? Bendy. All right, enough screwing around. Um, we gotta go, let's go get something. Salt run. We need to decide what we're gonna take out of there. So we got our salt. We got two buckets. We got no other lids. We're missing a couple lids somewhere. I don't know where they are. I bet you they're in the backseat of Billy's truck. So we'll put those two in last so we, we can stack all the other ones right over here. You know what? I'm gonna take these bags and toss these if you want to start stacking them in here.
Okay, so we have eight buckets of salt. That's plenty for now. Got a little bit left in there, not much. Toro is full. This snowblower is 50 to 1. That thing's still about full. We barely even used it last time, but it'll be good to go for this storm. Um, I'm just going to turn this sucker around. Put it in here like that so we got a walkway. Go around it. We're good to go. I'm gonna lock this sucker up. Take that one with us. Gas can. And we're good to go. Ready for, if we do get snow tonight, they're talking, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember what the storm is tonight. Two to four inches is uh, what we have a chance of tonight. But now they're talking, 17 plus. I'm talking 17 plus for what is it? Friday going into Saturday. So we got eight buckets. They'll get us through this storm easily. We'll probably only use three or four if we're only getting two to four. We'll just wait till the storm's over and we'll come in and do one time through plowing them snow blowing them whatever and then salting them and then we might have to go fill them four up before we get that big storm so we start off with a full eight again we will see right Billy right 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 <laughs> Billy and I are sitting here getting the boots on and the bus just went by he goes, there go the cheese wagon. And I said, you want to go hop on, see where it takes you? He goes, hell no. And then what did he say after that? I said, only if there's some cheerleaders on it. <laughs> Stay away from the cheerleaders, they're bad news. It's coming down. The driveway's getting covered already. Snow in the hood, man, it's, whew. It is coming down. So a lot of you have asked me in the past, do I even have it in here? I do have it in here. This is the remote for the 810. It looks, okay, this is for the 810. This is the remote for the V-Blade. They look the same, right? They are the same, only they do different things. So if I put the 810 on the truck and I hit the Everything's pretty much reverse. Up and down works fine, but if I do left or right, and I try to run that 810 with this V-Blade controller, if I press right, the plow goes left. If I press left, it goes right. Same thing with these four buttons for the wings. So you can reprogram this to work for the 810 or vice versa. I just reach under here, pull this down, unplug it, like that and I just plug in the one for the 810 and it works just fine. And that's all I do. It's the same mount for the truck, everything. Nice and simple. Whoop. Try and do this one-handed here. Eh, nope, I'll flip it around. Goes like that, plug it in. Now it's good to go. Shove that back up in there, take this. Put this one on there. And as I'm sure you can figure out, I'm gonna try again to run this 810. I really wanna run it. I should probably, I should probably put the keys in the ignition. It's been running on remote start. Okay, so I'm gonna try to run this. Uh, I'm gonna try to run this 810 again. We'll see what happens. I really want this plow to work. But, so the last issue I'm having with it is that, um, it was coming up really slow before, no matter what I did with it. I got it so that the drop speed is fast now. It drops quick. But it was coming up really slow. So I flushed the fluid out of it, and that fixed that. But last time I plowed with it, I'd be plowing, and just the weight of the snow, the plow would turn left or right on its own. Um, so I haven't used it since I flushed it out. So I'm hoping there was just air in the system and it didn't move on its own just because the rams are weak, which may be, it may be um, 
the actual issue they may be weak so I don't know since we're only supposed to get two to four and it's gonna be like a weaker storm I'm, uh, I'm gonna run it hopefully it works good and if it does then if we do get that monster storm come Friday it'll definitely be the plow that I use so see what happens so this goofball right here is going through a drive-through I'm waiting for the cops to pull me over <laughs> please tell me you were at a Starbucks I was at a Starbucks perfect those communist liberal anti-gun freaks well that was not yeah, good that was, bad. <laughs> that was so bad I can't take you anywhere <laughs> I know you know you haven't said the magic words to me yet today what I can't handle you today. I can't yeah. deal with you today. It happened. That passed. I know. One FaceTime call and you're, you're going to get me arrested. No, that's true. That was funny. That, that was not funny. That was very funny. Billy's <laughs> over there out in the snow putting the plow on his truck. I wonder if I can just get him to put mine on my truck. I mean, you are the boss. Well, he thinks he is. I know he thinks he is, but we know what the real truth is. <laughs> I know. Oh, that was too funny. That might be the best one yet. Better than when I ordered you that big dildo in the drive-thru. It wasn't a big dildo. It was a banana hammock at Duncan. Is that what I said when I yelled through the yes. phone? <laughs> but that lady thought it was funny. Yeah, she thought it was funny. I didn't think it was funny. And that definitely wasn't funny. I know. I seen your hand come up and swat at the phone and your phone went to the floor right after I ordered the big <laughs> banana hammock. Yeah. You should know this better than to leave me on speakerphone. This time it was pointed directly at the worker so I could scan my card for Duncan and yeah. you happened. Fantastic. And I happened. Fantastic. <laughs> Tell me I'm not the best friend you never wanted. <laughs> best friend I ever could have. You know what? I'll get arrested. Yeah. I'll get arrested for that. You I'll, bail me out. I'll bail you out. Yeah. I'll fly I'll all the way. Your speeding ticket. I'll fly all the way to Iowa. Wait, what? Speeding ticket? The speeding ticket you got me when we went when you were here last time remember i got the ticket in the mail and you were driving <laughs> oh yeah we were all singing and nobody was paying attention oh my bad we got clocked at one of those shit ass radars how fast was the speed zone there i don't know Faster i think than we were, much slower than we were going i think we were like 12 miles over the speed limit or something <laughs> yeah i think it was like 55 or something yeah, or maybe 65 and you were doing 70 something, but I mean, it was a highway. It's fair. It's fair. It was a good song. It was. It's always a good song. We don't mess around. Oh, Billy's lifting his plow up. His is on. All right. I, I got to put this plow on the truck. So either you can wait a minute or I'll call you back. Okay. What do you mean? You what do you mean? Okay. <laughs> Give me an answer, woman. I okay. I'll, I'll call you back. All right. Okay, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. That's my best friend at 30 something years. She tells me at least once a day, I can't deal with you today. She's a freak. All right, uh, I gotta put this plow on. Frank, coming down, Billy. Coming down. Like that one goes there. Gym, baby. <sighs> go to get it. Go to your home. Don't you wanna go to your home? All right. My plugs didn't wanna go in. They never want to go. She's not having it today. She's just not having it. She just don't want to go on today. She looks like right there. <laughs> Come on, Bobs. Oh. oh. Maybe crank her up a time or two. I don't understand why it ain't going in. My neck is calling. Did sink or something? Oh, snow went in my ear. Starting to go. There we go. How the heck the deal is with that? It's weird. 
Okay, so uh, I put the 810 on, and like I said, my biggest concern was when you push snow, the blade would turn on its own, like the weight of the snow against it. So I put the plow on, picked it up in the air, and I pulled on the, we'll just say the driver's side, and the plow didn't move. Then I went over and I pulled on the right to pull, like I grabbed the side of the plow, pulled back toward the truck, and the plow turned. I turned the plow all the way to the right, no problem. And so right away I'm like, damn it, there might be something wrong with that ram. But we drove over here to the gas station so Billy can fill up. I fueled up earlier when we got salt. And I told him, I'm like, you know what? I'm like, I haven't, I didn't have this problem before I flushed the fluid out. Um, with the blade moving on its own. So maybe I just, I got air in the system somewhere and that's why it's moving. So we're sitting over there he's feeling up and I said I'm just gonna work this blade left and right like 10 15 times and uh, to get it moving and then we'll run over to the shop if it's still doing it we'll run over to the shop and we'll see what the issue is if we can't figure it out so I sat right there uh, next to his truck while he was getting fuel I moved it left right left right I just kept using the remote back and forth back and forth and then after doing that about I don't know 10 15 times something like that I got out I grabbed both sides and I yanked as hard as I could to try to pull the plow back perfectly stiff doesn't move there must have been an air pocket in there and it burped its way up through i i thought for sure i put plenty of fluid in there um but yeah so there must have been an air pocket in there so now it's not moving left to right so woohoo i'm excited but look at look at these roads already they're already getting covered i mean i'm looking in the back of the camera right now and they don't look that bad but looking out the windshield they are definitely covered way more than what it looks like in this camera so and it's hammering down. Looks like it's gonna stick enough. We're gonna have a plow van here. You know, you guys know me, I'd much rather be out mowing, but if it's not gonna, if we're not gonna get in the spring where I can start doing stuff, then I'll take the snow. Let's just, let's do it. Let's make some money.